What is up, guys? DJX, and welcome to another segment of our PokeBank UU. Once again, I'm just going to remind you guys it's not a laddering series. I just want to exhibit and show off PokeBank UU because it's kind of not in the spotlight at the moment. Anyways, the last one we used Necrozma and Beware, and you guys chose Salazzle for this uh, episode. Actually, you can go to my Twitter. Every two episodes that I mentioned in the description, I'm going to have a poll. You guys can decide which Pokemon you guys want to use. So you guys can go ahead and decide which one we're going to use next after the two I've chosen. Okay, so we just have Lycanroc out, and I'm going to switch into Pangoro. Yeah, all right, Acceleroc. And now, probably predicting the switch into Bisharp, or no, Tentacruel. I noticed his team is pretty weak to fighting. And he does have a notable ice weakness, not that bad. Definitely has a ground weakness also. Let me go ahead and go for the superpower, or no, the knockoff, the knockoff, yeah. So basically what I'm going to try to do is, I want to try to get rid of Tentacruel and Celebi, and I can well, Celebi, Tentacruel, and Beware. It's really what I'm going to have to deal with. Now if he goes into Latius, I can probably switch to Blissey, yeah. So just got to see how he's going to play out. He's going to go for the Stone Edge, 27%, not bad. And we're not going to go for a knockoff. I don't know what's going outside, but somebody's yelling. I think. I can hear something outside. Anyways, let's go look for another battle. Yeah, he's going to have his Beware out. Hmm, I could go into, oh yeah, I could go into Salazzle, but I want to get rid of these rocks first. So you can get a safe switch in. Frustration. Okay. He doesn't have a spin blocker, thankfully. Pretty defensive team, definitely. And. Alright, so I can definitely say that we're going to have to try to hit our hardest. And I can actually start with Gudra for this one. Yeah, but let me go ahead and curse. Up here, hopefully. I mean, I know he's gonna play rough easily or knock off, it's not bad. And now, oh well, no, he's gonna probably KO us. But basically, I wanted to try to sweep with Gudra, but it looks like it's too late now. Yeah, I should have just went for the for somebody straight off the bat. He's going to a sweet coon, no problem. Go right for the dragon tail, bring a Shedinja. Let me go ahead and fire punch, and it's gonna get you're gonna have a focus sash. I actually do want to set up another curse, but I mean, there's no point if we're at 25% at all. So let me go ahead and try to hit another fire punch. He's going to set up his Bisharp. So we're going to spin block the. Well, not spin block. We're going to get rid of the rocks. And hopefully my dog will stop barking. You guys probably can't hear that, but she's barking. Alright, he's going to bring in his. He's probably he's gonna bring a sweet coon. I'm gonna go right back into Gudra, try to get rid of try to stack off Gudra with his death fire. Alright. He has his bit sharp out. I need to I'm gonna try to hit an attract. You know, I know it might not necessarily hit. I'm gonna try. Alright. Power whip. Scald. He's gonna go for the scald and I'm gonna try to hit this Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit the power whip on Demise, and if he goes into Shedinja, I can always, you know, if he goes into Shedinja, I might have to hard switch into Salazzle. Yeah, okay. I'm just assuming he's not going to go for a Shedinja, but then again, he should outspeed. Just, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to take a power up anyways, so yeah, I'm going to go into my Salazzle. Yeah, alright, he's going to his Dragouch, actually, and so what I'm going to do is... I can't attract at the moment. I know I can set up Stealth Rock with Blissey. He's going to attract, and now I'm just going to set up Inferno Overdrive. Okay, yeah, my 
uh, parents just came back along with my siblings. So you might hear some background noise. I apologize for that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and set up the stealth rock here. And he's going to go into his tentacle. So I know I got to get rid of some of these main problems on his team. He probably might have, he might have scald. But I'm going to go into Pangoro here. And Sludge Wave is going to do a hefty amount. I don't expect him to have Sludge Wave. They're going to like scald or something. And he's going to bounce. All right, so that's that's a problem here. He, he can pr go for knockoff or superpower. Yeah, all right. I, I did a lot. Okay. We can't. We can rapid spin. Well, no, we can't rapid spin at the bow. But, but I know we can probably. Let's go into Salazzle. And Sucker Punch is going to KO us. And I'm pretty sure our track gets bounced back. Well, no. I'm just going to go for Inferno Overdrive. Never mind. I, I, was, I just wasn't certain if... It uh, bounces back or not. So that's why I didn't necessarily go for a track at that moment. Do we have Ice Beam? Nope. Okay, so that's going to be a problem, but I know I can. Let me go ahead and click Side Shock here, and he's probably going to go into his Latias. If he does, I'm going to go right into Slazzle, sack it off here. Yeah. Okay, and I can go into Demise. This, this guy's putting up a lot of work here. Definitely. Okay, so now I can spin. I can get rapid spin away the rocks. But I'm actually gonna go for anchor shot here. He's gonna go to his Jigouch, which is not a problem at all. Fifty-three percent. That's wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and rap spin, and my baby sister's crying, so I apologize for that. Also, oh my god, I'm telling you. <sighs> okay, that's. I mean, we can't really win at this moment, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and. Well, no. Well, yeah, we can't really win. So he's gonna go for that, and now I'm a, I can bring out rocks now, and then I can switch into. Well, I don't got nobody to switch into a slash like at all. Nope, that's gonna be a problem. I'm pretty sure I can blur out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I can. Oh my gosh, wow! I would. You don't usually see. You don't usually see offensive Ladius. It looks like he's. It looks like he specs. So I think he's probably gonna switch it to Bisharp now. But no, I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna go for a trick room here. But you know we should take a lot anyway. Yeah, he's gonna go to his tenor crow actually, and now he's probably gonna switch because you know he he's gonna want to keep tenor crow. He's gonna go into his Bisharp, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Scald. Now he's probably gonna stay in and go for knockoff. You know, he should know that he has speed. Yeah, he's going to a Celebi actually, and we're gonna get the scald. We're gonna get the critical hit as well. It's not bad. Now, actually, right here, at this actually, this is a good lure. I can bring in Gudra, and he's probably gonna go for a move. Evan, our Sap Sipper, and he does outspeed us, so I can now curse up and hopefully take the game. Well, no, because Laddie's could still hit hard with Draco Meteor. So this might be a problem. Yeah, he's gonna probably gonna go to his tentacle actually. And we do got one more turn left. So let's go ahead and click power whip and get this thing out of the way, hopefully. Yeah, alright, 70%. That's not bad. Alright, this team's heavily offensive. Raylum and Fernape. Sharpedo. Not bad. And I'm pretty sure that Muzzy is not the only it's the only one that's not shiny. He does have a flying week or two weeks of flying. Let's see what else does he have. He does counter steel really good. He also has a notable his notable grass weakness, definitely. The last three at the bottom over here. So let me go ahead and start with Slazzle. And yeah, he's gonna go his Breloom. Go right after the attack right off the bat. And he's gonna bring his Ladius. Draco Me is probably gonna KO us. Nope. 85%. Dragon Tail cannot miss at this moment. It really can't. There we go. Alright, so Curse of Gudra is doing something. Finally. Okay, so he's probably going to set up, and really the only thing he's going to use is Rock Tomb. Or I can actually bring in Slow King, and then... Yeah, I'm going to bring in Slow King. And now he could probably go for a Grass move. Probably doesn't... And I hard switch into Gudra. So he probably doesn't expect us to go for. All right, there we go. And I could actually dragon tail if I want. I don't want to take a foc. I don't want to take a focus punch. That's gonna hurt. But he's, he's probably gonna switch. 
Maybe. Well, no, I'm going to go for Dragon Tail anyways. Just to see what he's doing. 48%. Oh, come on. That's not what I needed. He's going to bring his Beware. And I can actually... Beware will actually get... Will probably knock out the rest of my team. If I'm not careful. So I'm going to have to try to get rid of Beware. The best way I can. Because... You saw Celebi. I didn't see Celebi there. And... I don't think Celebi... Or I don't think Celebi be one-shot Celebi. Yeah, probably not. Okay. So he's going to bring in his Lantern. This is a special Pokemon. Alright, so... Yeah, I know it was going to be a physical. And he's going to bring out his Infernape. And he can go for a U-turn. And probably go right back into Breloom. I'm assuming that's what he's going to do. If his name's Choice Bandit, then that's not bad. Or right, I was going to go for a Mock Punch here. Okay, Slazzle should wake up. I don't think so, but let's hope for Fingers crossed here. I mean, I know I'm probably going to need Slazzle for pretty much Breloom. That's it. Because, I mean, the rest of the team counters Slazzle pretty good. Close combat is going to do 47. So, we're going to wake up and go for Sledge Wave. He's probably Sashed, but I can tell he has Iron Fist. Definitely. Okay, right, he's going to bring in his Bisharp. I'm going to go right for a Scald here. No, Fire Blast. I'm going to go right for a Fire Blast here. And Sucker Punch probably will knock us out. Yeah, or knock off. It's a good game right there. It's pretty difficult using Slow King. Just got to get the hang of it. All right, Sludge Wave is going to 100%. It's wonderful. And, okay, this seems heavily weak to Fire. As a matter of fact, this whole team's weak to Salazzle, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Salazzle anyways. He's going to start with his Masquerade. So let me go ahead and front of Overdrive. And he's yeah, all right, protect. I don't have anybody who can necessarily. I do, but I'm gonna have to get rid of somebody. Well, no, I'm pretty sure. But then again, well, no, Delmas can handle Breloom. So yeah, let me go ahead and sack Slazo over here. And now we can go for Superpower unless he wants to switch. Well, I got Scrappy. All right, so yeah, and if he goes into Chandelier, it won't matter. Even though I don't want to get Flame Body because that's gonna suck. Then I do have Blessy with Aromatherapy. Final Overdrive, Sash, he's going to set up with Quiver Dance. Lazlo's not going to be able to take a Quiver Dance at all, so let me go ahead and go to Blissey. Set up Stealth Rock on his side, and he doesn't have nobody that... Okay, that's wonderful. However, I just need to get Del... Well, no, Delmise is a solid vest, so let me go ahead and bring in Delmise here. And get rid of his... Get rid of his, um... Sticky web. So yeah, let me go ahead and go for rapid spin here. And I did a lot. Okay, scald. No problem. We're gonna be burnt, however. But we're not gonna necessarily use Delmise because Slazzle can pretty much sweep this team. I mean, also, uh, well, no, not with Gucci can't really. Okay. Laurentius is definitely a difficult Pokemon to deal with. Alright, he's gonna have to go ahead and go for acrobatics or something, because we gotta get out. And seed bomb eighty. Alright, so it's not really a source dance set. That's it's interesting. So Delmar should be able to handle the rest here. Yeah. Well, no, because Chandler still a problem. Well, no, because then I do got... All right, let's... Fingers crossed we take a Shadow Ball. But then again, Chandler has base 145 special attacks. I don't think so. Oh, we barely do, so that's not bad. And Earthquake's going to knock out the Chandler. Contrary Leaf Storm. Okay, that's not bad at all. It's actually... Probably a defensive assist. So going into Pangora wouldn't be smart. So I actually wouldn't go into Salazzle here. Like I said, Sludge Wave. He wants to bring in Lucario. He can go ahead. There's really anything to take a Sludge Wave. I don't think God. I think Gardevoir does. Uh, well, no, I'm pretty sure it's super effective. I'm not sure. Because I know it's Psychic type. Power Whip here. All right. So And then we got Lantern left. And it's at 58%. So I could actually go into... He's probably going to be locked in. No, he's not locked to a move. I don't think we're going to outspeed, however. Nope. Okay, he does have... We barely have been injured, so I'm pretty sure Side Shot couldn't get the knockout. Maybe not. It probably not. 15%. Okay. We, we couldn't have went for Trick Room there, actually. Okay, so it all comes down to this. He's probably going to outspeed, however. 
you don't really see offense. Yeah, you don't really see offensive lantern a lot. Okay, this is Gardevoir out. It's probably Scarf, but I'm going to Pangora out just to be safe. And I'm actually going to Blissey. would not too late now. Alright, let me go ahead and click Gunk Shot. Yeah, we don't got a stealth. We don't got stealth lock up anymore. Oh no, I still get out. I'm trying to break Braylon's sash here. I'm sure Braylon hasn't been injured yet, right? Yeah, he hasn't been injured yet. He's gonna bring in his Guard of War. I'm gonna go. He's probably gonna go for a Moon Blast here, so I'm gonna go right back into Blissey. If he's probably gonna predict the switch and go to Slash Shock, however, because you know we can't afford to take a hit. He's gonna go for Trick actually, so I can actually now get up my rocks. And if he wants to bring in, if he wants to bring in his Cario, he can go ahead and bring it in. Yeah. Okay. So now he can set up if he wants, and that's not good. So I'm actually gonna bring in Gudra and try to get the try to get a Fire Punch off. If not, then I actually have an idea. Mm hmm. Greg actually going to Slow King. And then he's probably not going to stand for Slow King. So I could. Well, no. He might. And then if he has extreme speed. Yeah. Okay. So then. Now you can bring in Slow King. Click Fire Blast. And be on my merry way. And if not, then I don't know what I'm going to do because. I'm pretty sure. He's going to go for another Swords Dance. Fire Blast is going to get the 100% as a critical hit. Breloom can easily take us out. So can Gardevoir. But Gardevoir does not have its Scarf anymore. So that's wonderful. Let me go right into Blissey here. And take this Spore. Hmm. Okay. So now if he wants to, he can go ahead and set up Swords Dance. But not, that's not going to be... I'm going to go into Pangoro here. Or he's going to go for a Rock Tomb. And we're still going to stay fast asleep. And go ahead and go for a mock punch, really anything. And then once we get uh once we get Slazo out, we can win and clean up. So this is a wonderful battle actually, just that the whole team should be weak to Slazo. That's not good. Okay, so good game here. Pretty sure Slazzle knocks out. Not sure yet. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and look for another one. See how this one goes. Okay, pretty, uh, let's see, rock weakness. Three of half this team to rock. He also has a notable fire weakness. Or not, not fire, ground weakness, I should say, with Arcanine and Torkoal. So, uh, let me actually go ahead and start with Pangoro here. And so, and so, um, sorry, my, that was my brother. He's complaining. Anyways, we we'll go for the knockoff here, Pikachu. So here we're gonna do. Yo, I'm trying to get rid of Type Null and Pikachu, and then also Butterfree, because Butterfree can actually set up and sweep. So I should go into my Blissey, but no. He's gonna go into his Butterfree. He's gonna get gonna get down to a sash. I should bring in Delmise now. He's probably gonna go for sleep powder. And that's gonna be 98% because of compound eyes. But it's not gonna hit regardless because we are grass type. Let's just go ahead and look for another one here. And Bug Buzz actually. Okay. That's not bad at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and rapid spin. And this he's gonna go for a, or another bug bus, not bad. Just have to get rid of that. You might as well just go for rapid spin. All right, if he brings his Arcanine or Torkoal, I'm actually I actually do have only have one counter. I don't want Arcanine to take. I mean, I don't want Silking to take a wild charge. However, it's probably a defensive set. Even though I don't know why he would, because he already has Torkoal, which is pretty defensive in its own nature. Or right, this team has a heavily offensive presence. Definitely see a huge ice weakness. It was some some of a weakness to grass, somewhat of a weakness to grass. Because five, six of his team either takes neutral or super effective from grass type attacks. So I can actually go into Delmise, and Delmise can get some of the job done. Oh, yeah, he's not going to bring in his... I actually want to keep Delmise for Keldeo, but we might as well just go down anyways. Sack it off. Okay. Now I can go into Slow King. I can actually set up Trick from here. 
And type no is probably going to be probably the most difficult one to get rid of. All right, here comes the Zygarde. Not necessarily worried about Zygarde, even though I know Crunch will probably do a lot to us. Definitely gets down to under 20, most likely, probably. And that's exactly why I didn't want to necessarily. But I'm going to go ahead and get our Regenerator, get some health back. Meanwhile, I'll go into Gudra. Gudra's going to take a pretty decent amount because, I mean, it's almost, almost under half, barely. So I'm going to try to get up a curse here. And I'm actually going to set up another one, even though I don't we'll know that might not be smart. I'm going to have one more room. I'm going to have one more turn of troop room left. So let me go ahead and set up another one here. And I can go for Dragon Tail. So, yeah, Gucci's doing all right in this battle, even though I know we should have some form of recovery, like Wish or something. However, we can't really switch Gucci into a Wish now because, I mean, I don't think we even have a Wish on our Blissey. Nope. I'm not sure. I forgot. Yeah, we don't. Okay, so, um,. Now, Fake Out's probably going to do about, probably going to get us down to like 10. Well, no. Or I didn't expect it to do that much. Volt Tackle should get the KO. Probably not, though, because, I mean, we are at plus 2. Oh, well, Paralyzed and 90%. We still hit it. Wow. He's going to avoid the Power Whip. That's going to be a problem. So, I'm actually going to start. I'm going to actually bring in Gudra and start setting up a Curse. However, I know he probably has, I know he probably has substitute with Swords Dance, and that's not good at all. Cause then Glasgow can sweep our team. And that's not what I want. So he's gonna bring his Arcanine once again. I'm gonna go right into Salazzle and just click Sludge Wave. And then if he brings in his Type No, I'm going to switch into Pangoro. I'm Pangoro's been injured. Oh yeah, it has. So let me go ahead and go for Sludge Wave. Goes Type No. I'm actually gonna go to Blissey first, and then Type No, and then um Pangoro. He's going to bring in his Keldeo. Secret Sword is probably going to do about under it easily 75, 70% easily. Type no. All right. Let me. I can't go, I can't go for a track. So let me go ahead and go. Oh, no, I'm actually going to go to Pangoro. I'm actually. Crush Claw. Okay, that's not good. It was a critical hit, but that's still not good. All right. So, Secret Sword. Oh, I thought it was going to get like under half. Go ahead and you probably can go for outrage here. And then I can actually go into Slow King. I can actually go into Slow King here and Trick Room. I think that's the best thing I could do. And once again, I apologize if you're any noise in the background. You're probably acting up, arguing, complaining. While I'm just enjoying my time of recording. So now I can go to Delmice here, but uh, yeah, I can go to Delmice because the rest of his team pretty much outspeeds Delmice at that point. And we're going to take a 25%. Okay, so that's not bad. Let's go ahead and go for Power Whip here. We do get two turns to try to KO some of his team. Cobalion, that's going to get a critical hit, thankfully. I can go for Earthquake, get the KO, and go right back into his Gliscor. So he's going to hard switch into his Gliscor, so that's not bad at all. And I want to bring in Salazzle, but I don't want to take an Earthquake either. No HP, I see going to do a pretty considerable amount. I'm going to trust my gut. I'm going to go with Salazzle here. Yeah, all right. I was probably going to go to his Cobalion, but we still outspeed nevertheless. And I can, and if he goes into his Storm, I can go right into Blissey, so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm right here at this. I'm going to go for Hammer Arm. Or probably a knockoff would be pretty decent. When well, I'm gonna go for knockoff right here, cause I know I gotta get rid of that orb. Even though it's useless now, I can get rid of that orb and try to get some chip damage off Gliscor. Cause Gliscor is a pretty defensive Pokemon, you have to admit. So gotta get rid of some HP. Even though I'm glad Gliscor is a Roost though, cause that would be that would be terrible. And my brother probably lost something in this game. Probably. I can hear him yelling. Trick room, and then we should be able to get the game. Probably. Probably not. Sledge bomb. Not gonna do anything. And Sun still lasts for two more turns. So Skull is not gonna do the most. So I can actually go for side shot if I wanted to. And that's not gonna do anything. He's probably gonna go for an iron head here. And that's gonna do a hefty amount to Delmines. 
So now we can get the game. However, oh no, we can't. Slow Kings at a very horrible amount. I could have went for Fire Blast. Mm, that's not good. Okay, since the Seismic Toss is not going to knock out. Because Crush Claw should probably pick up the game here. But I mean. Alright, so he's going to go for Outrage right here. I'm going to bring in Slow King. And then go right back into Blissey. Because actually Slow King can pick up the game. No, because what's what Stormy at? Let's see what Stormy's at. So, right, please let me look at it. Okay, 78. Now he can go into anything, really, and probably going to go into his Gliscor. I don't think we knocked off its orb yet. Nope. So, or, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go for knockoff here. Gliscor is going to go down to the knockoff, and probably has Dazzling Gleam on his Starmie, but I can't switch into, and I know he's going to he's gonna make Evolve, but I can't, I can't switch at all. Yeah, I can't switch. When he takes, we're going to do 6%. We're going to leave us with 6%. Holy crap. 26. All right, now he can pick up the game here with Crush Claw. Now, I mean, unless it misses, but that would be wonderful. He's only 5%, but I mean. Top Note's not that bad of a Pokemon, really. Wing attack, and I can go over Trick Room. However, Starmy still can take a good advantage of my team. Wing attack is going to do 40%, so that's not good. I know I should be using leftovers, it's just that. Oh no. Starmy, let's go for the side shock here. It's going to do 23%. Oh, come on. You have recover. Are you serious? Oh, this is going to be terrible stall. Terrible, terrible stall. It's going to go to a Zygarde, the R break, and Scald is going to do about 60%. And Outrage should probably get the pick up the KO here. So, hope you, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out the last ones I did as well as tune into the previous the next ones I'm going to be doing later. And go ahead and check out some other things on my channel, including Overused Generations, which is a new series I'm doing. Pretty decent actually too. Just finished Kanto. Go ahead and I would appreciate if you subscribe. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, or dislike. Share on Twitter, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.